In this lesson, we're going to learn about auto serialize. Some folks call it variable data. In other words, we want to take things like this name tag here that's going to go on a hotel and print hundreds of copies of it, but have one of the items or two of the items change. So in this case, I want the room number to change. We'd like to have room 101, 102, 103, 104, so forth. So this is called an auto serialize. Now, I've built this file. I have a graphic over here. I've got uh, lettering up here, a line in the middle, uh, lettering down here. Go to the Arrange menu, and down at the bottom, there's an auto serialize capability. When this shows up, this is our auto serialization layout menu. Now, precisely, it just asks you how many copies do you want. We're just going to do nine to keep this simple. And how many columns do we want to put them in? Three. So in other words, we want three across and three down. How much spacing do you want in between each copy? You can type in these values as needed. And then over to the right, this is actually the text that's going to be replaced. Now, you can select more than one place here, but I only want to select this for right now. That's the only number I want to change. The data in here can actually be uh, typed in as a text file and provided to you. But since this is a simple numbering situation here, we're just going to click Next. Now what this does is this leads us to an image that looks a lot like a spreadsheet. I mean, I could literally type in the room numbers here if they were odd numbers, just like that. But since I know this is not the case, I know for a fact that I want these to be sequential. I'm going to start with column one here, and we're going to do auto serialize. Click that button, and you get a menu that allows you to start with a numeric value. We're going to start with room number 101. And we're going to increment by ones. When you choose OK here, it will type those numbers in for you. Then when you choose finish, it will generate multiple copies of the same image but with one of the variables changing. I can now eliminate my original if I wish and what remains are copies. Now once these copies have been made, take a look at Design Central. Design Central shows me the overall size of my project but there's a final tab over here that allows me several options. For instance, I can change the spacing between my sets of copies if I want to, either to overlap them or to just add a bit more space. I can even change the way the arrangement of the copies if I need to. Perhaps I made a mistake and they're too wide or too short. Very easy to do. Choose the check mark here to apply it. And remember this is in fact just a multiple copy of the same file. If I right click on here I can ungroup it and that allows me to actually change individual pieces if I need to. Maybe I want to manually change something or simply eliminate one of the tiles altogether. Now when it is grouped, that doesn't mean you can't make changes. Because remember, we're working with objects here. So if I click on the T here for text, I can certainly go in here and change this anytime I need. So variable data is a very, very powerful tool. But it's not just numbers that we can use this auto serialize on. Let's close this file up and open a different example. Let's go to something that has names, like name tags. There we go. Here's a file where I have something that's just a simple name tag. And I have my logo here on the bottom, and the name is going to be substituted there. The trick here is to be sure that when you type in the word name, or any other, th it doesn't have to be the word name, it can be any variable. What you want to do is set this up with all of the font style sizes and all the justifications that you need to get the job done. I'll explain more in just a second. Let's leave it as is. I know this tag is about eight inches wide, so let's leave it as is. We're going to go to Arrange and Auto Serialize. This time we're going to make nine copies again, but we just have the one variable. And I'm going to browse to a set of names that I happen to have on my hard drive. This is actually a, a database of names. It's tab delimited, and it's a text file. I'll show you what the file looks like. Just click Edit File here. Here's a list of names. Mickey, Donald, Minnie, Daisy, Mr. Ed, 
McCormick, Hoskemeister, <laughs> Bugs, Elmer, Tom, Mark, whatever. It's just a list of names, okay? Now, that's a regular text file. Anybody can build that for you. Click Next. All the names are placed in here. If uh, you want to substitute a name, just click on it and retype the name to something else. But this is fit for what I want to do. I'm going to click Finish. And there's all my names substituted. Except, I have a little bit of a problem. And that is I want to make sure that name fits. That's an awfully long name, isn't it? How did we make sure that that fit inside my length of my graphic here? Well, I'll show you how. If you click on the original graphic here, and I'm going to undo this. Let's click on the original graphic, okay? What I did was I went up here to the paragraph tab, and I chose this instrument right here. What I wanted to do was I needed to tell it, don't ever get bigger than this amount. And I'm going to give it 7 inches as a, a graphic. That'll give us an extra half inch on the sides here. Don't ever get longer than 7 inches. And here's how you're going to control that. Change the height of the character and compress it if need be. In other words, change the size of the lettering, but make sure you never are longer than 7 inches if necessary. I can click OK on here, and then I'm going to do Control 7 to make sure that goes back in. I just want to make sure this is centered on my graphic here. So once again, I went here. I told it precisely how long I need to be to make sure that name never exceeds a certain amount. That way, when I go to my Arrange menu and choose Auto Serialize, if any of my names happen to have are very, very long, they'll still continue to fit in that particular graphic. They'll make sure, it will make sure that the name always fits in this precisely. And in this case, for instance, since this was a very long name, it made sure there was at least a half inch of space on both sides, and it made sure the name fit precisely. This is a very easy tool to use, and believe me, there are other programs that can do this, but not this easily. Imagine being able to change these on the fly. In, in other words, this person no longer works for us. He just had too long a name. So now it's just Ed. You see, that is very powerful tools that are provided in this program for you to accomplish this auto serializing or variable data. This would be great for the use of helmets, lockers, schools. High schools could probably use this. Large companies or small that need tags done immediately. Banners. Let's say there's a golf tournament, and what you need to do is you need to change sponsors for each hole, but the overall graphic is the same. A very powerful tool that you can use indeed. It's called Auto Serialize, and you'll find it only in FlexiSign. This is Mark Rugen with GiveMeHelp.com for SA International, the makers of FlexiSign.